Hey my lovely students, once again welcome back to my channel. How are you all? I hope you all are absolutely wonderful and I hope you all have gone through the previous videos and understood the content well till here, right? So in the previous videos, we have already started with this chapter number one, the sentence. We have covered about what are sentences and the kinds of sentences. And in the kinds of sentences, we have discussed about the first one, right? We have discussed about declarative sentences and the two parts of declarative sentences. We have assertive and we have negative. Now, in today's video lesson, we will further discuss about the other types of sentences. So, let's quickly begin. Now, the second type of sentence which we have is interrogative sentences. So, do you know what are interrogative sentences? Any idea about it? Students, interrogative sentences are those sentences which are used to ask question, right? Interrogate means whenever you ask any question. So it can be it can be of WH family or it can be of any helping verb or it can be framed by using your modals, right? For example, if I say you are crying, my this sentence is assertive, right? If I have this sentence, you are crying, here on the first position, I have you, right? My subject is you. So, if I have to change this sentence into interrogative, how can I change this? I have to change the position, right? In order to frame sentence, in order to change this sentence into an interrogative sentence, I have to change the position so that my helping verb will come at the first position and I can easily make a question from this sentence. And what punctuation I have to change? I have to change the full stop into a question mark. So if I have this sentence, you are crying, full stop. How can I change this? Are you crying? Question mark, right? So this is I'm asking someone, are you crying? So, this is interrogative. Are you understanding this? We are changing assertive sentence into interrogative. And the very important thing is that whenever you are transforming any sentence, always make sure that you do change the punctuation as well. Punctuation is also very important while you are transforming your sentences. Okay, students? If I have this, where are you living? What are you doing? Right? how many books you have so we can frame questions by using what where when how right and apart from this we can use helping verbs also right have you completed your work have you gone to tuition question mark so students we can use our helping verbs at the first position in order to create questions right and we have to punctuate it as well by using what Yes, by using a question mark. Okay, so I can use some modals also. Could you please bring me a glass of water? So this is how I can put a modal verb in order to make it a question. So always make it sure that whenever you are talking about interrogative sentences, it should also contain a question mark, right? So do punctuate it as well. So is that clear to you all that interrogative sentences are those sentences which are used in order to ask questions. Okay. So students now let's see one example. If I have this sentence, he is a wise leader full stop. So now this sentence is assertive, right? I have to change this into interrogative. So there are two types. I can change it like this also that if I have this, he is a wise leader, then is he a wise leader question mark i can change it like this also and the other form is i can say like that what kind of a leader is he question mark right are you getting it how we're changing it either we can use wh family in order to make it a question or we can simply change the position of the helping verb and subject in order to transform the sentence into interrogative sentence Right students, is that clear to you all? So anytime whenever you have any sentence, make sure that first of all, you must know the subject of that particular sentence. You must know that what is your subject, what is your object, 
what is your helping verb and what is the desired sentence in which order you have to change it whether you have to make it an interrogative sentence or you have to change it into assertive sentence so that is very important and for all these things punctuation marks plays a very important role right so make sure that punctuation mark you should always put whenever you are completing your sentences okay students is that clear to you all so students i hope that interrogative sentences are clear to you all now let's move to the another sentence and the another type of sentence which we have is imperative sentences so what are imperative sentences students imperative sentences are those sentences which express an advice suggestion order request instructions etc okay we have certain sentences which are used in order to make a polite request right or when we are giving instruction so sometimes we have these kind of sentences please don't make noise full stop so what is this this is command okay this is command that someone is asking you to be quiet that you don't have to make noise so i'm giving you a command which you have to follow so if i say kindly keep your shoes out of the room so what is this this is again command okay i'm telling you this is a command that you have to keep your shoes out of the room okay then please sit here again this is a command right you must obey your elders what is this this is my advice that you should obey your parents or elders so that is why we use imperative sentences whenever we are making any advice right we are giving any command or we are giving any suggestion so that time we have to use which sentence we have to use imperative sentences okay let's see some of the examples take these books to the library full stop now i'm giving a command that take these books and keep it in library right so this is my command now get me a cup of tea please get me a cup of tea please this is request i'm requesting to get me a cup of tea okay kindly lend me your pen lend means when you are taking it okay when you are asking some help kindly lend me your pen now this is again request okay that i'm not having pen please give me your pen i'm making a request this is my polite request be neither a borrower nor a lender right neither borrow it nor lend it right so this is suggestion right that you don't have to take and you don't have to give anything so this is a suggestion so make sure that whenever we are making any command advice suggestion instruction what we have to follow yes very good we have to follow imperative sentences that time we have to particularly use imperative sentences okay students is that clear to you all so students that's it for today's class in today's video lesson we have covered two types of sentences we have covered firstly interrogative sentences and what are interrogative sentences those sentences which are used to ask question right and the second one is imperative right imperative sentences express command advice suggestion instruction okay so i hope that these both are clear to you all now in the description box you have the assignment questions related to this video lesson so do check your description box as well okay so that's it for today's class now i'll meet you all in the next video lesson till then keep on completing your assignments and yes if you face any query please mention me in the comment section okay so before going what you have to do you have to like the video you have to subscribe to my channel and you have to share the video with your friends and classmates so goodbye take care